What's up guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what is inside my camera bag. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Uh, saying that, I'm gonna show you what bags I have, because I have a few, and I'm just actually in the market for a new one. I was like obsession with bags. Um, so if you do know the best bag out there, comment that below, because I'm maybe looking to get in. So, first bag. So the first bag is this one here. It is an Ultimax X, I think it's called. Um, basically, this is the bag I have for my other drone. So I've got a Phantom Free here, I don't really use it that often now. Um, but this is the bag I have for that. But I have used it as well for carrying my camera equipment because it has these real nice little pouches to organize things in. And the lenses fit really well in these battery pouches. And yeah, it's, it's, it's okay bag. My favorite bag for traveling with my camera equipment and having enough space for clothing as well is this bag that was a present. And it is the Kickstarter company, Wandered. Um, let me see the, the logo. You might recognize this logo. Uh, this is actually a really, really good bag. I love this bag. It's a rucksack. It also can you know, hold all our bag. But it's got some really cool features. You can like take these straps off and they can be hidden away. You've got a really good solid back, back space, like padded area for your back. You've got a laptop pouch here that fits up, up to like a 17 inch, I think. Quite a big space for laptops. Here is where I would put normally my clothes. Now you have also, you've got a little pocket up here, a little pocket up down here. There's so many pockets for this bag. And if you split it in half, you've got the compartments. This is where I showed you before where the clothes go. And this, there's two compartments here that actually can be divided. You've got the Velcro bit here that divides it into compartments. And you can also buy wandered bags that fit perfectly into here with all the compartment areas for your camera gear. So that's quite cool. It's not an everyday use bag. So that's what I'm in the market for next. I also have just a little cheapy bag. And this is like an Amazon Basics bag. Uh, it's got like compartments. It's, it's okay, nothing, nothing special. So yeah, I've got them three bags and I need a new one. So if you know of a good bag, comment below and let me know. I've actually found this one. I found this bag on the market uh, and it looks quite good. It's called a Temba. If you've used this bag, uh, let me know if it's any good, I may be getting it. Um, any other, other bags you think of as well, also let me know. So, let's move on to the gear. Mavic Pro, okay? This is not the two, this is the, this is the Pro. Um, a decent drone, really good, 4K. I only got one battery for this drone, but it's pretty good. I also have, this is actually on loan right now, um, the Mavic Air. Uh, also a really good drone, it's, it folds down smaller. I'm actually gonna do a comparison video on these two drones because the Mavic Pro 2 is out and I believe there's gonna be a huge space in the market for a second-hand drone. It's probably gonna be these two drones. So I'm gonna have to do a video on these to see what is the best drone to buy second-hand. So yeah, that video may come soon. If you wanna see that video, give this video a like and I will make it. With these two drones, one thing I definitely prefer, so, I have the remote, this is the remote for the Pro, okay, it's got the screen which is pretty handy. The Mavic Air has no screen, but I love the fact that you can screw and unscrew the joysticks. So when you're transporting this, having them joysticks folded away is so good because I'm always worried about snapping these off and yeah, it's just a worry. So that, that reason I prefer the other remote. So let's move on to my cameras. So the body I'm using right now is actually a basic body, but it's actually surprisingly good for what it is. And it's just the Canon 200D. This actually video now is shot on Canon 200D as well. And this is a pretty decent camera. It's got dual pixel light focus. Um, it's not the best in low light. It's like I said, it's just a beginner's camera but it's not bad. I've actually shot a wedding on this camera. So it's, it's a great start camera. Anyone who wants to buy a camera, get into photography or videography, this is a perfect camera for that, for both purposes. So yeah, that is the body. I'm actually upgrading. I'm getting a pro body. It's gonna be a full frame mirrorless camera. I'm gonna leave it there. 
I want you guys to go down below and comment what camera you think it's going to be and I'll reveal that in another video. So yeah, comment below your, your ideas for my next camera. So let's get on with the lenses. So my favorite lens, my favorite lens is the Canon 50mm uh, 1.8, the Nifty 50. Reason being is for quality price, you can't go wrong. It's like 120 pounds. Um, 1.8 aperture, 50 mil, it's just like an amazing good camera. It's, a camera. it's an amazing little lens. The quality of the picture is super clear, it's really good. And this is probably my go-to go -to lens. I also have the 1.4, but this one is actually broken. This is like way dearer. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's broken. And I also have as well, the older version of the Nifty 50, the plastic version, this is the metal version. So yeah, just a, a backup. Um, second lens is the Canon Ultrasonic 10 to 22. This is the 3.5 to 4.5 USM. It's a pretty good lens. It's good for um, landscape. There's quite a lot of distortion. I don't like about this lens. It's one of the things I don't like about it too much. So I've tried vlogging with it before, but everything just looks so weird and funky. Um, so yeah. This lens is good, great for landscape, but that's, that's really useful. And this is a pretty decent lens as well. This is the Tamron 17-50mm um, 2.8. A good lens, the only issue it has is an old lens and it's not very quiet with the autofocus. You can hear it like grinding in and out with the autofocus. Um, but I actually had used this lens and this body together, I shot a full wedding on, just these two. Um, so yeah, it did me well, I did a wedding out of it. So if you wanna see that video of the wedding, see the quality of the wedding, you can just let me know in the comments below. Let me, let me know and I'll, I'll upload it. Uh, yeah, they're my go-to lens. I've got another lot of kit lenses as well, I've got other lenses and stuff, but these are my main ones I use right now. ND filters, neutral density filters. Now I have a variable ND filter. I mean you can change, you just turn, twist it and it will just alter the stops. That is um, very essential when you're filming, doing video. This one is not a too expensive one, it's quite cheap, um, but it's, it's pretty good quality. The brand is called Gobe. Um, it was pretty cheap and also by buying this, you, they plant like five trees, so it's pretty good, good incentive why to buy them. And of course, step up rings. Now I have these because it's a lot cheaper to buy these than to buy an ND filter for every lens you have. So this is a 77 ND filter and that fits on my widest lens. So the 10 to 22 is the widest lens I have. Um, so that ND filter fits around here. But when it comes to like the 50 mil, this is only a 49 mil. Okay, so what I do, I literally just screw this on it on like that and then the ND filter can also screw on. So you have the ND filter on the lens. If it's a different size lens you basically just unscrew the rings you need, the size you need and put it on a different lens and that is how it works. So yeah, great little bit of kit and just a way of saving some extra money. Tripods, so I have the one I'm filming on now that is a Manfrotto element, it says on the side. And I also have the Joby Gorilla Pod. Uh, this is a great, great little tripod, very good for traveling. You can use it for vlogging, you can wrap it around lamp posts, or you can wrap it around tree branches or railings, wherever you want to do it, or just stand it up as well. And it's a really versatile, it's got a great little head. If you buy these, make sure you buy the head, because without it, you're kind of limited. Um, but yeah, a great, great little tripod. This is the, not the 5, I think it's the 5K, the big one. I think it's like the 3K or 2K. It was like 80 pounds, basically. And it's got the quick release top as well, so that's pretty cool. To keep my SD cards safe, I have this hard case waterproof GoFriend holder. And in here I can fit all of my SD cards. Obviously I've got, Spare batteries, I've got like four 
batteries for the T200D. Um, I always carry a laptop. I have the MacBook Air. Um, it's an okay laptop, it's pretty good. It's not built for editing, but it's, it works well for Lightroom. I've used it for Photoshop and I've also used it for Premiere Pro. Um, yeah, it kind of does a job, but it's just slow and it wasn't, doesn't render too well. So it's not built for it, but it's, it's okay for like minor editing when you're on, on the road. And then hard drive, I have two of these. This is a, the Seagate, this is a one terabyte. I have the 500 gigabyte as well, plugged into my iMac back there. Um, but yeah, this is okay. I'm probably going to be getting the rugged, it's called like a uh, Levy or Lassie? Lacy, Lacy, rugged hard drive. Um, just the fact that if I drop this, I can like lose all my content. Where the other one, I think it's waterproof, it's drop proof and hard things. So yeah, just a good little investment to have. What else? That is most of my gear, I believe. There's pretty more stuff I've forgotten, but that is like my main stuff. I've got like a like a little Lapierre Rode mic as well, but these are like my main, my main things. Um, like I said before, I am in the market for a new bag. So if you know of a bag that is good, I've seen this one here, like I said before. So I've seen the Temba. It looks quite decent, I love the look of it. Um, if, you've had the, if you have this bag or you've seen it or recommend a different bag, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you can kind of guess what camera I'm getting next, comment that below as well. I said it's a full frame mirrorless camera. Um, guess that as well. Hopefully, if you like this video, you'll give it a like. It does help quite a lot, help me get more views in this video. Um, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications if you want to see more of these videos. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace.